Stupid. Yeah. I don't care about your numbers. Coronavirus is stupid. There's almost an equal number of people worldwide who've recovered as deaths. One more time with that. What was There's that? There's al- almost the exact same amount of people have recovered. Oh no, four million. Four million have recovered. Four hundred fifty-one thousand. So yeah, like l- l- less than ten percent. Yeah. God, I'd sure like to know why everyone's falling for this crap. Ninety percent recovery rate. That's in medical terms. That's unheard of. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't get what's wrong with you people. I don't get why you're um, still going along with this. I don't get it. Maybe someone, maybe everybody knows something I don't. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, so little of this makes any bit of fucking sense. I just don't get it. I really don't. Just the whole thing is fucking retarded. Nothing nothing about it makes sense. Nothing about the world makes sense right now. No. Everything I'm starting to wonder, did we did we wake up in another fucking universe? No. It's always been the same shitty universe. You just started paying more attention because you quit smoking pot. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My life was so much easier when I was always high. <laughs> What's the cancer survival rate? Fifty percent. No outrage for that. Nobody's oh, scared I did of cancer. I did see a a small article was brought up over the uh, amount of uh, deaths from overdosing in BC. By the way, yeah, it was a very small article. Very <laughs> ridiculous. But we're having a hard time getting good drugs because the border's closed. Yeah. <laughs> That's just true. We can't get good dope, borders closed. People start doing fentanyl and dying. Yeah. Highest month on record. Yay us. Why isn't that a thing? Yeah, nobody seems to give a shit at all. No. Because most people still have the attitude, well, they're fucking junkies. What difference does it make? They have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Well, that's what I've been saying about Corona patients and people get mad at me. (laughs) Yeah, it's true. I mean, I got mad. I used to be one of those people. I used to think that way. You were the person that changed my head over and around on that. I didn't understand. I mean, for me, I just, my whole outlook was very simple. You put the pipe in your fucking hand. Nobody else did. It's not your fucking, my fucking problem because you turned into a junkie. That was my I was also the same attitude as with alcoholics. You choose to pick up that fucking drink. That's nothing else. I didn't understand anything else that went along with it. Yeah. You know, most people don't No, I understand I everything that goes along with Corona, but people still get mad at me when I, people <laughs> fucking hit the roof when I blamed Italy for their problems. <laughs> Stop kissing everybody. Retards. You can't say that. Why? Why do their lives matter and these lives don't? Why do some lives matter? That should be the fucking real quote. Some lives fucking matter and some just don't. That's just how it is in the world. It's fucking disgusting. Yep. Yes, it is. Um, but these ones, I don't get. I, I don't get why we're... Why is Ontario extending the fucking... Uh, rules when there's a 91% recovery rate. Yeah. 91% of the people will be fine. Why are we still doing this? What is the secret? Someone's got to leak something sooner or later. Someone's going to fuck up and spill the beans. What this is all really about. Fuck for all I know, George Floyd started COVID. He did have it. That's why they offed him. <laughs> he did have it. <laughs> Find out. Out. Go ahead. Find out next year George Floyd was secretly Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
hired by the Chinese specifically to in, to uh, infest us with it. Had COVID the whole time. <laughs> He's supposed to give it to all the cops, but he fucked up. <laughs> um, here, uh, Zimbabwe, their inflation rate has skyrocketed in the last one year. Their inflation rate has gone up by over 785%. In well, one year. I can't be cheap to live in Zimbabwe. I don't know. What the <laughs> fuck? Who gives up? Again. That's insane. 785%. If something costs a dollar right now, it costs $785. That's a little extreme. I'm... I don't get how that's even like that. I don't even get how that can even possibly happen. Well, you've never tried to rent a house in Vancouver. <laughs> I did rent apartments. <laughs> I knew how expensive it is. But if, 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 how do you, how does in one year, like in Vancouver, A was for the most part, it was always expensive and it just exponentially has gone up on a steady incline for the past, what, 15 years? Where do you get all your African news? <sighs> you have like this uh, weird African Google that brings <laughs> up all this? <laughs> Things? No. Um, a lot of this stuff, actually, um, I'll be honest, I actually get it from BBC. And then I offshoot it off of that, and I, get, I try to find more local from there. I'm just not sure like, what uh, that the world is tracking Zimbabwe at the moment. <laughs> it's good that you're you know, concerned. The craziest thing is, that's the second highest rate in the world. <laughs> that's awesome. That you just like walk into Starbucks one day, give me a coffee, two twenty five. You go in the next day, give me a coffee, that'll be fourteen hundred dollars. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday it was two twenty five. What the fuck? You should have bought two. <laughs> <laughs> two uh, do you want to take? Do you want to take a step in the dark of which country has the highest inflation rate? I'm gonna say. Uh, South Sudan. No, we mentioned it. Not the. Uh, I think we mentioned in the last. We mentioned this country on the last fucking podcast. I oh, think. was it my Venezuela? Yep. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> it just says everything right there. You know what I mean? Beautiful um, Venezuela. <laughs> What's not to like? Americans, I am actively encouraging you all to vacation in Venezuela this year. They could use your help. Please go there in large numbers. Well, the good news is that the president of Zimbabwe, no, I'm not going to say his name. So say it. It probably has a in it. Well, his first name is Emerson. That's cool. Yeah, um, they, they always get a good British name. Um, Menagagagawa. <laughs> um, he's blamed the high prices and the weakening currency on economic saboteurs such as business owners <laughs> yeah the main opposition and even western embassies <laughs> oh here we go i got they're all conspiring to bring down his government i got the zimbabwe situation here here we go there you go <laughs> that's an actual website zimbabwe situation.com <laughs> is it really <laughs> Uh, For 10 years, Zimbabwe has used foreign currencies after scrapping its own in 2009 because of hyperinflation. So this is just keeps fucking going on. Drax is in Gaia. What the fuck is going on in Zimbabwe? Oh. This show might just take a drastic change for the next little while and we'll only report on things going on in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Uh, Zimbabwe is a fucked up country I mean there's a lot you could talk about persecution of tortured female opposition leaders continues as they're denied bail <laughs> uh, that doesn't happen ask Jagmeet that never happens here he doesn't go to jail for being part of the opposition and get tortured that's just a Zimbabwe thing <laughs> you know what's funny considering what I just read about Zimbabwe there's the newszimbabwe.com. It's literally this is the Zimbabwe news you trust. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't trust. When, when you put you trust into their tagline, yeah, yeah I don't trust you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, this Zimbabwe situation.com, it's got a nice big 
booby blonde right at the front. That's always helpful. Ah, uh, that's Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's measures to stem parallel market activities are proving to be futile. The dollar continues to plunge. Well, who the fuck? Like, of course it does. What? Who's investing in Zimbabwe right now? Like, yeah, I I couldn't. Although they I, I, probably I, have a security council seat. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> I don't even remember all the countries that are on the Security Council. I gotta look that shit up. There's yeah. not a lot. Uh, well, no, it's just the G8. I think or G12 or 12. whatever. Twelve. There's twelve, and I think there's four or five that are permanent. Yeah. The rest rotate every two years. Abductee starve in jail. Coop plots MDC bloodbath. Inflation rate rises 785. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, bloodbath. You don't often see bloodbath in the news. They Every day there's a bloodbath. <laughs> we don't ever get bloodbath. No, it's true. <laughs> Never here on Global. After the break, Mark with the weather and then a bloodbath. <laughs> Never hear that ever from Chris Galis. <laughs> Although I haven't listened to global news in years, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe it might have happened once. 15 members, five permanent. China, France, 15. Russia, the United Kingdom, the United States. 10 non-permanent members. China. <coughs> How is China on their fucking security council? What do they know about security? Yeah, I'm Dominican so Republic they on everybody. Like Estonia, you telling me they made a bigger military commitment than Canada did? Yeah, Bullshit. Niger. That's a precarious name these days. You got to be careful talking about that country <laughs> right now. Vietnam, oh good. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. The fuck is that shit? They're just making up countries now to keep Canada out. There's an empty seat right now. No, that's for uh, the Grenadines. Who? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Quick, Grenadines, take your seat. What the fuck's a Grenadines? Just <laughs> shut up. Take the seat so Canada can't have it. <laughs> Fuck Trudeau. He doesn't even sit like a man anyway. <laughs> that would be uh, awesome to see, like, just... Like the president of Zimbabwe congratulate Canada on their first female prime minister. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw you sit and I just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about Kim Campbell. Sorry, our second. That's what he'd be like. Oh, Canada's had two female prime ministers. That's amazing. Jeez, no. Fucking headlines are insane on this website. Oh, my God. Canada's lesbo prime minister has got a hot wife. (laughs) (laughs) That's a man. Shut up. (laughs) No, seriously, it's a dude. Zimbabwe is literally burning its hard-earned foreign currency. (laughs) Not on my security council, he's not. (laughs) Tanzania, you're in. Uh, Tunisia, sorry, it's Tunisia. I wasn't reading right. Tunisia, you're in. What? What the fuck does Tunisia contribute? Shut up. Shut up, it's not Canada. (laughs) Canada here or what? (laughs) Shut up. Said you to Zimbabwe. (laughs) Trump told us to leave to leave Canada out of this. So we are. (laughs) Tunisia and Italy have converging views on Libya. Well (laughs) No. I'll stay tuned for that. Uh, We're going to do just UN news from now on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to read from the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. From now on, it's just more interesting than little old ladies getting pushed. (laughs) Tunisia's successful political trends. I don't know what's going on in the Security Council. I don't even recognize some of these countries. But they don't help me feel secure. No, I none of them do. I feel about as secure as an old lady in New York right now. I feel about as secure as the uh, currency in Zimbabwe. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. 